All right. Well, I'm on an unscouted. I'm at an unscouted spot here. Uh, after giving up on that great-looking second spot that really didn't hold much, but a bunch of the same species, but much harder to catch the same species, much more reluctant to bite. Uh, my third spot didn't exist. Flashbacks of the drive overnight, where half the spots didn't exist. Heading after the shiners, I'm going to try this topman over here. He came and mangled the bait and left it alone. I should probably, oh, there's two of them, three of them. I should probably not try them with the 22. I should probably get the Tanago. Oh. Oh, there we go. Got, a, got the small one. <laughs> it's certainly one I've already caught before. Take the bait too. Huh? Alright, you already know. I won't know until I check the picture. But it's either a black spotted or black striped. I'm going to put my money on black spotted. Oh, that's What is that? Just racing in there after it. Well, take the bait. Don't just race in there after it. What kind of shiner is that? Or is it a stone roller? Oh, no, no. The toppy's going down for it. Ah. Yep, top metal went after it. Ah, yep, looks like black spotted. All the way from the shallow. Oh, and there goes the shiner. No, no. Another top metal is going to go down there and take it? Seriously. All of the top minnows that I was uh, trying to, I adjusted to get a, adjusted my uh, presentation to get a bait to. They just swam out there to the deep water. And they're not small, as you can see. Oh. Okay, so the plan is for me to get in and out of here in about an hour or two. One to two hours. That's the bass. Good. Get him out of here. Or is it the stone roller? No, it's a bass. Yeah. Um, and then get to get some... It's a Cahaba? I think so. Yeah, it is. All right. Nice. I'm going to put him in the tank. He'd probably look nice when, he, when his colors come out. Anyway, um... Give me enough time to get to this, uh, my last spot, uh, get a meal at a restaurant maybe even, uh, and it'll give me about half an hour or so to get some daytime recon. Oh yeah, he is lit up. I'm gonna put him in the glass case and get a little side. Man, red eyes do not like photo tanks, man. Uh, we got colors on the side because I, I don't think I can get down there and do a nice release shot. Nice. All right. Yeah, there's another Cahaba. All right. Struggle at first, but they're piling up now. Just a gorgeous fish. Gorgeous species complex. The red eye man. Only a micro fisherman would say something like, oh, there's just too many bass here. I have to get him, catch him, and get him out of my way. I don't know. Here's a, here's a nice little, gorgeous again, starburst. My bass in there is big enough to eat that sunfish I just caught. This actually looks like an Alabama too. Pretty sure it is. Yep. If I can get it settled. Another species for the day. Yep, that's an Alabama. Nice, okay, cool. I've caught uh, an Alabama, many uh, Cahabas, and one integrated between them. Oh, oh, that's a pretty big one right there. Oh, but something else took it. Oh, that was gonna be a really nice one if he wanted to take it, but this guy intervened. Ow. Mm. Oh, beautiful.
No, he's taking it. Oh! Oh, he didn't take it. The frickin' ah, uh, the frickin' long ear moved in on it. Oh goodness, that one just came up, and I'm stuck. Hang on here. Long ear came in, and he he attacked the long ear. Ah, another gold, just Cahaba. Yeah, yeah. Past it, oh, he went right after it, ran right away from it, and now he's gone right back and away and back. Oh, and now something else took it. Dog on it. Oh, this isn't a bad size. Ooh, catching air. Oh, this is that medium. This is the mid-range Cahaba. Yeah, this might be a. Uh, oh man, biggest one today for sure. Oh, come on. Ow. Oh, and he's he's spitting. Night crawlers, he's already got one of mine in his belly. Really? Come on, man. Just chill it. Alright, I'm gonna have to just. The thing is, you can't really hold it like this while holding their lip very well. I decided to chase the shiners. I don't know that these are the same ones. These are half the size of the ones I was fishing for over there. I got out of the bass area. Figured, you know, Muhammad would go to the mountain. Again, I don't think these are the ones that I was fishing for over there. Yep, Alabama. Where is the blacktail? That's hard to tell sometimes. Ugh. It's a get your damn Tanago stuck in the... It's a blacktail. Yep. There it is, blacktail. Oh, I just bang him with a... Yeah, it's time it's time on. All right, take a look at that one. No picture. All right, now this is exactly where they'd be to hit a bug. Couldn't have put it in a better place, quite frankly. And something's looking at it. Oh, wow. Thought he was gonna nose it. He came right up to the top. And he kept going. Must be a little optical illusion as far as depth goes. Well, that was as good as the first cast was, that was just as bad. Over to the shoreline to check out this flow down, and I realized I, I could see that there's a little ridge right here, a little ridge of depth. So maybe, maybe it's a little fish freeway. Oh. The Katie did just landed on the. Oh. What? Oh no, 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 no. How, how, do you go, how are you gonna do that? You gotta be kidding me. Oh my God. Really? No. All right, so I return. Likely the final resting place of my bug. That's my backup bug. Not the best color, but I don't know that it actually matters. Same size, same design. Got a little more puff than the other one because it hasn't been in the mouths of a bunch of fish. I think it is not the color, neither this, uh, which is white, or the blue one. Neither of them were the colors I wanted, but the maker of this particular I'll say it's Boogle Bug because they deserve the uh, credit for making these great poppers or bugs, whatever whatever they're called. Uh, neither one of them are the best color, uh, for at least for red-eye bass, which is what I use them for primarily, and catch a bunch of bycatch with it. But um, uh, they're so popular, and this was before the pandemic, uh, they never had the good colors in stock. So uh, they make a great product, not very good at keeping it in stock, which, you know, hashtag Tanago hooks, hashtag just about everything now. But uh, let me get closer to the wall over there. 
there it is. There it is. What is it, though? Keep it out of the tree. It looks like a sunfish. Bluegill? Yeah, bluegill. Well, let's get something on the new bug. Though it is merely a bluegill. Nice. Ow! Oh, man. Oh, is it a... Oh, it is! I think that's my first strong ear sunfish on a bug. Nice! Outstanding! A beautiful fish. Suddenly this whole thing is empty. Oh, oh something just rushed in. Oh! Oh, uh, that's, uh, that's a little, very small, long ear. Yeah. They're pretty. Not that small, but, oh, such beautiful colors. Uh, I really want to get that uh, possible red, eye, uh, red spot, just to see. He's got it. He's getting it. Let's see if it's a bluegill or a red spot. A bluegill. Ah, well, it was shining. Wow, that hurt. Shining red in the water. Crazy. It seems like one too. No, it is not. It's this little guy. The other one was a runner. This one was just a. Uh, I thought it looked like a bass because uh, it was moving so kind of slow and confidently. It's kind of like, yeah, I, I got it. I got it in my mouth. I'm just going to keep swimming, act like I've been here before. Not a single one. And these are all sunnies. I did say last, next, not bluegill. But I guess, you know, I meant bass, but I'm going to throw one under the bridge and call it a day, whatever, whatever the next fish is.